I have to unmute myself. Hello, everybody, and um, welcome once again to the Five Foot Square, where tonight we're doing something a little bit different. We haven't actually had a chance to do anything like this yet. We have a one shot of Necrobiotic by, from Penny Fort Tail LLC, I believe, is yeah. Your, yeah. And we've all kind of been really excited for this. So I'm just going to step back. Because for once, I don't have to run a game. So I'm just going to pass it over to our uh, machinist to take over the show. Oh, man. This is, and this is how I slowly gain power on uh, Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> One channel now, at a time. I know. Now what to do. I guess hey. I'll play the game. Yeah, so today uh, we are playing Necrobiotic, um, uh, published by Penny for a Tale, uh, which is currently on Kickstarter. So super excited about this and super uh, happy to have these guys uh, join in the world, uh, especially the individual with uh, their face being ripped off. Um, that's a <laughs> what, way. No, that really. That, that that's uh, that's Tex down there. Yeah. That's Tex. Oh, yeah. oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's, uh, it's very it's appropriate weird. for the uh, for, for the show. Super appropriate. Uh, this is why I had to uh, why I had to ask him to come on because this is this is his persona online. So you know, <laughs> this, this face off with. guy. Yeah, I am the face off guy. <laughs> we'll take your Construction face. Off. Materials have to come from somewhere. <laughs> yes, this is true. Like, oh man, that's a perfect segue to uh, the setting of necrobiotic. Like. Uh, which is set in uh, the beautiful age of 2100 um, after births have dropped and humanity just started dying at a higher rate or in the early 2020s, 2021, um, which is very unfortunate years, I think, in general. Uh, but here uh, behind the walls of Florence, they have discovered a way to continue, and that is by reanimating corpses using uh, advanced science and, and technology uh, and programming them to perform functions such as taking care of your baby um, or uh, cleaning the streets and such like that. Florence uh, is down to a population of about 50,000, uh, head up by the Citadel of Science. Um, and humanity is just kind of persisting on uh, despite itself. And that is kind of the, the basis of Necrobotic. We have all made our decks, I think, right? We, we're yep. ready to go here. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I think we're ready to, ready to hop in. Yeah, let me just uh, save up my copy of my character sheet here on my screen so I can see it if I need it. <laughs> All right, I'm um, good. Who needs character sheets? That's what. That's mostly what this is. Uh, actually, that's kind of a cool mechanic. The, cool. Uh, yeah. The deck. Um, and you're using a tarot deck too, which is yes, really I cool. Am. Uh, for people watching, you can use a tarot deck. We learned uh, like a week ago, and I I totally am for it because I love tarot decks. Um, yeah. This one is especially cursed because it is a Necronomicon tarot deck. <laughs> See, it is <laughs> lit. Uh, was literally the only deck of cards in this house which was complete enough to be able to make a playable <laughs> deck out of. Oh, I, I feel you. <laughs> uh, so we are going to spotlight on our individual characters. Um, it has been a very late night working here in the city of Florence, uh, doing the various activities that you do. Um, you kind of feel the vibration of the train uh, underneath you as you're, you're seated or maybe you're standing. Uh, the trains in Florence are, are kind of on these raised uh, bridges and such going around the city um, and are very reminiscent of the kind of steam trains uh, of the kind of the, kind of the gold rush uh, time. Um, you see the city kind of on either side as it weaves uh, between streets and, and over buildings. Uh, many of them are empty. Uh, because there's just not enough population. Sometimes you go over a, a particular street, um, which only has one window with a candle on, on the side of it, but uh, two figures, uh, kind of these dark brown mannequins, the constructs washing the streets with uh, very pointy and bony features uh, as they move robotically forward, um, wiping every little detail. 
your uh your carriage as it were um only has a, a few other individuals on it uh sticking their nose into a local news press uh to get the uh the happenings of the city uh and uh there's a nice kind of flickering uh light above if you ever like been on a dc metro it's kind of has that <laughs> smell and feeling um, I, 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 of... I got that <laughs> yeah i figured that would be the oh, wow. perfect like <laughs> be like yep yeah, yep yeah, everyone knows that what a smell that is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's even um, a uh, a construct uh, kind of interwoven into the uh, the wall, uh, almost like uh, one of those uh, like tarot machine uh, or fortune teller uh, little uh, machines where you put in a quarter and like it only shows like their top half, kind of sticking off uh, at the front of the carriage. Um, staring at everyone with a blank face. Uh, this was a person who kind of got your ticket as you came in and promptly ripped it and put it into the box uh, that kind of opens up into its chest cavity and falls into uh, dispense uh, underneath it. Everything that can be used uh, with the um, the materials that we have, which is mainly flesh, uh, will be used as it were. Um, and as it should. Uh, but let's uh, check in on everyone. Uh, we'll start with... Uh, is it Riam? Uh, yeah, it's Orion. Okay. Orion, there you go. Yeah. I am playing uh, Nicola this evening. And he's on his way home from his daily tasks that they, well, as, a, as they might have been. He's uh, found his his way to the point as far away from that construct on the wall as he can. Um, mostly found a seat and trying to relax while looking at what passes for the daily news. Yeah, uh, looking over, uh, you do see that there was quite a commotion as the other day during a uh, macabre masquerade party. Um, a technophant uh, slammed his sword through the fountain uh, brick just right outside. Um, and the, the technophant blades are, are kind of those huge, like, rustic blades that no person could ever carry, but because they're in those techno-powered uh, armors, uh, they, they can. Um, and so there's kind of speculation on that and what went on in that party. Other than that... Um, Deaths are slowly declining uh, percentage-wise, so that's good news. Um, but still, no, no word from the outside world. Well, the the number of deaths still going down is most definitely great news. The those technophants, however, they always like to show off with their fancy equipment. Ugh. Always. Speaking of Technophant, uh, big text. Uh, yeah, uh, Fiore is entirely too big for like just one seat on the train, so he is probably taking up two seats. Um, and not he, it's very awkward to look at, but he is not awkward at all in taking his large coffin filled with the Technophant armor, um, and placing it right in between his legs. Um, Fiore has stark white hair um, and um, seems to be like surgical. Like, it seems like... You know what? Yeah, his it looks as if his face was once ripped off, but it was, like, stitched back on, probably. And, like, there are some, like, markings of that, like, around, like, his eye sockets and around, like, his mouth and his nose. It's, like, sagging in specific spots, probably, but, like, he looks normal enough. Like, nobody's, like, not, nobody's, like, giving him weird glances. And he's just kind of leaning against, like, the chair, leaning against, like, in his seat, breathing heavily, because it's been, it's probably been a long day for him. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um... The Technophants are always kind of scouting out the exterior of the walls to try to see how humanity is doing. 
uh, and to guard its borders from the cannibals as well as the potential of rogue constructs out in the wilderness whose uh, only desire is to get more parts for itself, which unfortunately is humanity. Sure. So, Heller. Semi, <laughs> Semi uh, Heller is staying close to the construct. Staying close to the construct, the one that took his ticket. And he's this kind of little, almost furtive man, always kind of hunched shoulders, <laughs> head jutting forward. Uh, his his eyes are kind of always got this constant squint as he's just looking at this this construct and thinking, could I do this better? Could I maybe fine tune you a little so that you're more efficient? Or is anyone looking and would anyone notice if I borrowed a part for my own projects? So many projects, so much work to do. No. Yeah, and it's just like staring forward, not like registering this uh, very odd architect uh, next to him. It, really, just a normal architect. But <laughs> architects are usually uh, a little it, creepy. Yeah, it's weird. what you what you have to do in order to tan and uh, leather out human flesh on a daily basis and and work them for your own means. So that they may one day perform functions that were done by uh, machines or computers or uh, other people. Uh, the Flesh dead. does it better. Flesh is best. Reject is. the machine. Exactly. So metal. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no metal. Only no flesh. Metal at all. No metal. Only flesh. Metal is weak. Flesh is forever. Jesus. It is. It is. Fle I mean, metal rusts eventually, uh, but flesh can always be replaced, and it's easy to replace. So just put more flesh upon it. I am the Adeptus Mechanicus in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a pretty um, melancholy day as the train continues to bustle down its tracks. Um, you can see the overhanging clouds kind of dipping a little bit lower, a uh, slight fog settling in across the streets, uh, and the little pitter-patter of rain against the, the glass. Um, it kind of makes it very hard to, to see the city as you're kind of moving through it. Um, and then finally, there is a stop. kind of screeches a little bit. <laughs> Uh, you hear the kind of the groan of metal against metal as it kind of yeah. uh, grates on each other, gears uh, rusty and, and needing to be replaced, uh, moving, and then finally inching forward to a platform. Um, this platform is on the southern side of uh, the city near the southern wall itself. <laughs> Tommy will get off the train. Uh, Nicolo's gonna get to his feet with a bit of a, a sigh and slowly tromp to get off. Um, Fiore's it almost looked like he nodded off near the end, but the screeching kind of woke him up. Yeah. Um, it doesn't really like pierce through him because he like spends most of his day within a mechanized suit, but he does, like... <sighs> he grabs the coffin, and, like, kind of, like, with one arm, like... It kind of holds it, like, uh, like over his shoulder, kind of like a sack, mm -hmm. and just kind of, like, boom, 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 out of the train. Uh, oh. It's not... It's not intentional, but he is, like, going, like... He is oddly close to uh, the technosophist. <laughs> I say, like, old man, watch where you're swinging that thing. <laughs> Maybe if you little people couldn't be so flighty, I wouldn't have to worry about stepping on you. And flighty. Nicola just sort of 
looks at the the man carrying the giant coffin and kind of steps away to move on with his day. Grazie. Don't find, don't find me. I'm, I'm no one. I'm just okay, big man. I'm, I'm over here. That's. <laughs> Do not mind you, Grand Architect. And um, uh, he'll just res- kind of wander respect. off. <laughs> respect. No one. Other people. Uh, I appreciate that. Other people don't want to look at me. They. They. Call me. I hear what they call me. I hear what they say. Grand Architect. I like that. I like that. Maybe I should put that uh, as a stamp on my next. No. No. Too gro- Too gaudy. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's kind of in this uh as you guys are coming out of the the station uh looking over at each other and talking um the overhang protects you from the the water uh with a few lit pieces that are starting to kind of flicker in and out as nighttime kind of settles in and the city kind of saves uh electricity by kind of converting everything and just turning it off um a lightning uh, kind of illuminates the pathway before you, and you see a woman and a construct. Each look like they've uh, had an unfortunate accident. Each one of their chests have been ripped open. You see bits of their rib cage kind of poking out <laughs> as if something desperately tried to get out from within. Uh, the construct in of itself is missing several pieces. Uh, its fingernail kind of uh, digging into the the mud. Uh, <laughs> so, Sami goes running, like running over, and as he's running, he reaches into kind of his one of the pockets of his apron, and he pulls out kind of one of his signature tools, which is a, a glove, basically where the the fingertip of the index fingers. Functionally a scalpel. Mm-hmm. And pulls out a little, like, one of those jewelers' head, headdresses with the, the lights and just, ah, uh, what, what do we have here? They don't need any of, well, terrible shame about her, but, well, one must make do. Nothing goes to waste. Oh, um. man. That's not exactly Fiore, a good sight to see. Fiore oh, does terrible. Not say... It's always terrible. Of, of course, of course. But all of the things you can do. There are parts for the machine of Florence. Before you do that, um, architect, uh, do yes. not investigate what happened to her. Oh, well. Her construct. I mean, the construct, no, the construct is just a a thing. It's an expression of art, and it's terrible that this one is broken. Of course, it wouldn't have happened if it was mine. Uh, I built far more robust, but, uh, yes, I suppose knowing what broke it, but uh, broken parts, the longer we let it just sit here, the damage that could be done. I would have to say our our big friend here may have... have a uh, a good idea there. What tore this poor lady apart? Well, yes, we could uh, discover that. It's always a a shame, a real, true shame when another person dies. Uh, utilitarian as death may be, we do have so few people these days. So yes, uh, I I must say I was a, a, perhaps a bit more concerned about our well-being. Oh, oh yes. Well, I mean, if we die, we also become a part of the machine. So don't be afraid of death, my friend. Embrace it, hold it close, and know that your death has a purpose. You have purpose in flesh, and I can find that purpose. And if not me, then those who walk the path. All right, then. <laughs> but yes, uh, my friend, 
my friend, my good friend, uh, if you would help me perhaps with moving uh, this this woman to somewhere a little less uh, <laughs> damp, that we may, uh, I may uh, ascertain what there is to discover and maybe select some choice uh, parts. Find what pieces might best work for us, yes. Every part works. Renze weeps. Renze and and weeps. without comment, Nicola is going to go and help um, Semi at least uh, try to move the corpse. Because. Oh, yes, yes, here. Yeah. And Sami actually shows, like, kind of for, for a architect, kind of delicate sensibilities and ends up kind of draping most of the corpse's weight on Nicola. <laughs> <laughs> and just that makes sense. Sense. Don't worry, I, I'm, I'm sure I've got this. And uh, I'm sorry, big man. Uh, could you grab the construct uh, and bring um, it along? He as nods well? and like, um, with one arm, like, kind of grabs the construct and picks it up. Ah, uh, you and... are a piece of work, my friend. Who worked on you? I bet I could improve on. But yes, yes, first things first. Come, come. And um, going to kind of orient, still wearing the pointy scalpel glove. And, uh, ah, this one, this way. Yes, yes. Follow Sammy. Follow Sammy. Yeah, and as uh, Fiore uh, picks up the construct, there's a little bit of this kind of black ooze leaking from its eyes, or at least its eye socket, uh, down onto the ground, uh, its mouth slightly ajar. Uh, Teeth broken and shattered mm. in its skull. Uh, I must say that's, such violence. that's not particularly normal. What? No. Oh, within the city walls, either. Strange. I um. Would this like? What does this wound look like? Like I, I've probably seen some pretty jacked up crap, um, in my line of work, um. Oh yeah, this... like uh, the the techno fonts. Um, you probably saw one time because uh, some of the cannibals and the brigands haven't exactly figured out how to get a techno font out of their armor uh, oh. when they kill them. So Oof. it's much like trying to eat a turtle with a sharpened spoon. You kind of start from the top <laughs> and you continue to spoon out pieces of it uh, until oh, you yeah. eat the whole thing. Uh, so yeah, you've seen horrific things uh, of that nature and in, in more. Um, this is uh, definitely different because like the, the Citadel of Science prides itself that the interior of the walls and like the farms at least are mostly, especially the interior walls are safe um, and there are no uh, un, unexpected deaths. And seeing a, a woman with her chest cavity kind of uh, ripped open uh, it kind of reminds you of like rats trying to get to the other side of a body uh, little scratch marks against the bone uh, as well as pieces of flesh and sinew just kind of spilled out uh, against her chest mm. this is mm. not exactly pleasant to be carrying don't worry oh. not much further no. not much further at all all it is is flesh but Worry. Flesh. Life parts. is sacred. We must. His parts. Sammy, my friend, you, uh. You are very, very zealous in what you do. It is necessary. But. I will say that your obsession should not come before the lives of Renze. Please. Well, ascertain the corpse. So that I may do my job. Yes, yes, of course. It's just a little further, a little further. I don't like working in the in the the the, 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 the rain. It's cold. And... Very well. Oh, well, that's one thing we finally agree on. The construct. <laughs> <laughs> don't make yeah. a great character. <laughs> <laughs> and definitely, while kind of walking, you see like the the breath uh, escape from your nostrils and mouth. Uh, Cold as it is, uh, starting to get outside as like the sun is uh, mostly over the horizon. Uh, but I will lead them uh, 
to my workspace, which is also my home. Uh, yeah, I, I live over. You work, you work from home. Yeah, I live. <laughs> I have workspace is the ground floor. I sleep on the second, on like a little cubby at the top of the stairs to the second <laughs> floor. Uh, and the workspace is. It's essentially, it looks like a surgery. There's a cross between a surgery and a morgue. There's three or four beds, all but one of them is occupied. And the ones that are occupied either have corpses that are in the process of having their skin flayed away uh, by a very precise tool, <laughs> or constructs in varying stages of construction. Oh, this is most certainly. Charming. Yes, yes. Very, very <laughs> uh, artistic. That's Please. one word for it. And uh, Niccolo will gently yes. set the body down on the empty there. um bed or cot or whatever. And you can put the construct over there. And there's kind of a pile of what at first just looks like scraps of cloth and fabric but it's it, it's actually like things that sammy has scavenged from other constructs from that other people made from dead bodies they didn't have time or someone to cart away for him mm -hmm. uh, so it's a little kind of nightmarish pile of of parts yeah, um fiore does take the construct um and seeing how it is rather you know, fucking demolished. He kind of uses it as like a thing to like sweep away a good amount of like the the crap in the pile and like put it like right on top so it has its own space. <laughs> yes, yes, now the woman. Let's see. And coming over, uh still wearing the, the headset and pulling on another glove uh that has hooks. Uh, in the at the fingertips to kind of stabilize the grip. Now, my dear, my dear, let's see what got you, shall we? What secrets do you have for little old Sammy? <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> All right. Uh, why don't you give me an investigation or medicine check? Okay. Okay. Let me bring up the rules. Okay. Yeah, so everyone should have six cards in their hand as their first first breath of the day. Um, and then after that, you are looking for something like this is steam, so mental capacity for clubs. Um, and either uh, the you can play a card that matches the suit, uh, which is one success, or you're trying to get to a multiple of eight. So eight or sixteen for the most part, uh, by combining two numeral values, numeric values of uh, the cards that you have. Uh, but that's only if you are trained in it. Uh, if you're trained in it, you get to play two cards. If you're not, only one. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. So I I do have a spades card, but it's only one card. Uh, Let's see. Okay. So. Uh... So you can use uh, advanced medicine, which would be your gear skill. Uh, perfect. Yeah. Uh, remove the trauma and steal and steam. Okay. All right. Cool. Uh, so you can play two cards. Uh, all you need is one success, though, for this. Okay. Uh, and it needs to be a multiple of eight. Uh, uh, multiple of eight, uh, or if the suit matches the action. So for this, since you have a special thing, uh, gears works because it's uh, spades or spades works uh, for gear. Okay. Since that's your uh, special. I've got a nine of spades and a ten of hearts. So nine of spades and ten of hearts. All right. Cool. Um, excellent. So looking over this uh, body. Um, you're kind of uh, opening up the, the chest and stuff like that. Uh, you see kind of little claw marks uh, upon its uh, its chest cavity. 
uh, split open. It was split open from uh, without, so not from within, um, which is good, I guess. Um, but uh, several of the important organs that are protected by the chest cavity are gone. It's like someone oh, came no. in and scooped everything out. Oh no, oh no, no, no. I say, do you mind sharing with the rest of the rest of the class? Someone got here first. Someone was wasteful. Someone wasted parts. Wasteful or pragmatic? They take no. for their own. No, no, pragmatic. You do not just pick and choose. And no, you must, you must find a use for everything, uh, especially every single if... bit. Everything has a use. Everything can be useful. You don't just leave behind, I mean, the brain, the eyes, uh, bone, sinews and bones, things to make structural adjustments. All of this is so useful. But all the best parts are gone. Denied me, and for the first time, like the out, the the like shock and horror has turned into just rage, which is not a very intimidating thing because Sami's maybe five foot tall. Uh, yes, but he's but... currently waving around a blade and some hooks. So <laughs> yeah, which is yeah. Red, red with blood. Uh, well, the hooks are. He's actually gesturing with one hand because the hook. He's forgotten to unstick the hook. Glove, so he's just kind of stuck with one hand to this woman's like left, uh, left like left rib cage. Yeah, you can't just walk away with the heart and the lungs. You you need to take everything or leave everything. I could have made use of that for uh, that one. And points over to uh, a construct that's kind of child sized uh, and is. Currently, similar to the woman, open from collarbone to crotch. That one needs a new heart. Needs a new impetus to life and purpose. Uh, oh! Uh, <laughs> sorry. It's always taken. Uh, so the hearts, the, the heart, the lungs... What else uh, would be really important? Yeah, um, that's pretty much it. That's all I can think of. Pretty much okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Just wanted to under just wanted to make sure. Um, yeah, the veins and such. Uh, well, those those are harder to take out on short notice. <laughs> that I spend hours on that. Hours. It's very meditative, peaceful even. So you say the parts were taken, but is uh, does it look like a quick job or? Ah, uh, with the nineteen, what I've been able to tell if this was like a rushed, like it was a rushed, yeah, it was uh, definitely powerful. Like it wasn't surgical at all. It's something just with, grabbed, yeah, yeah, with claws and and force oh. was able to rip open a chest yes. avic cavity. And Goodness, it and it's raining, and, and it's raining now, isn't it? It, so, it like, the trail running. for that must must probably be, like, all gone. Come and see. See, here. This. Yes, you see the scratches on the bone, on the inside of the shoulder blade. No artistry. Pure meatbag surgery. Someone just pulled. You don't just do that. I bet these parts aren't even usable now for whatever took them. You can't, you can't do that. There must so be... In my time fighting against cannibals <laughs> and brigands, mm -hmm. would would you say that I would understand what their like diet is like and what they believe to be the tastiest parts of a person? Yeah, I mean they're they're kind of remnants of humanity, so it, generally it's pretty like, and, and they definitely don't pretty have much get strength. What they get. Yeah, they yeah, they they're okay. very. Uh, rushed and um excited but they they usually grab everything but this is like something like so strong that it can get through like a construct and li like a living person and mm -hmm. that it looks as if like a rat has like a shit ton of rats have eaten through it yeah it reminds me of 
battle of, of awful battles battle memories um yeah i i mm, i uh i don't really know goodness the trail must have like all been washed away like was there any sign of like a trail from like that with like any sign of gore or anything um that we had seen or had the rain like washed it most away let's see here you can give me a, a steam roll uh to see if you remember uh any sort of hints of the scene of the crime steam and something and that's something that i'm trained in so uh well steam so you're not trained in anything that i would associate with this as a techno font um no it wouldn't be readiness okay it wouldn't be yeah. readiness this would be no. more so like just a one card exception. okay um thank god i do have a club uh, so if I use something of the same suit as the thing, then that's yeah, immediately that's a success? Yep, exactly. Okay, awesome, awesome. So I'm just going to use my ace. Excellent. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a nine, so one success in total. Yeah. Uh, so thinking back upon it, uh, you're, you're looking back and you're wondering, uh, and you do, as you're kind of... Uh, remembering uh, the streets and such, you do recall a bit of um, a dark kind of splatter against the rooftop, um, as well as some scratch marks uh, moving up to that same roof. And how far a walk? And how far away a walk is it from here to where yeah, we, we'll say we found the body? Like a fifteen minute walk, we'll say, if that's all right with you, okay. Sammy. Sammy, hella. Yes. 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 What are we doing? <laughs> um Fiore just kind of like <sighs> sighs heavily and um looks to both the technosophist and um the architect, Niccolo and Semi, and says what would you like if I bring back anything? Where, where, and he where begins, are you going, big man? He begins uh, unlocking his coffin, um, and um, uh, pulls out the suit and um, uh, kind of like puts piece by piece it on and oh, starts up the internal engine. <laughs> Perhaps before you wander out on your own, you should. Get a good view of things. I may have something that can assist with that. And Nicolo is going like to open. To come along for a ride. Is going to open his satchel and dig, and is um. He's going to pull out his um, his creation, the drone spider. Excellent. Uh, uh, we, 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 machines. Now you know. Now you happen to know how I feel. With this, we can perhaps see, ha have a look before you so bravely charge in. I don't want that in my um, workspace. Kindly remove um, your. Uh, through like the microphone, I guess maybe is there maybe there's like an uh, there's like a microphone option in the suit. I don't know. I feel like it muffles or estranges his voice, but in yeah. like. A, a semi metallic tone. Oh, use your machine so that I may work. Okay, so Nicola would like to um, unleash the drone spider to um, perhaps act as a, a scout of sorts mm -hmm. instead of running blindly into the into danger. Excellent. Uh, so yeah, it's it's deployed. Uh, starts going over there, um, kind of moving up and and such. Uh, 
usually you kind of have a little remote that shows you the images it's kind of looking through as you control it and, and maneuver it uh just like a, a modern drone uh so why don't you go ahead and give me uh two two successes for the archeo piloting so that would be gear for you for gear mm -hmm. hmm but you're trained in it, so you can put two down, down two cards. Well, gear would be spades. I have... I cannot make two successes. Close as I can get is a seven with a two of spades and a five of clubs. All right. Oh, well, so you have a seven of spades, right? I have a two of spades and a five of clubs. Oh, yeah, that's... Uh, yeah. Yeah. So... All right. So, I mean, one success is still good. Um, yeah. As it's kind of going up there and, and such, uh, looking around, it's kind of a little bit difficult as it's clamoring its way over on the wall. Um, Damnable rain. Through. Yeah, I know, right? It's making everything slippery and, and such. Um but yeah, it finally makes it on top of the building, though. Um, there was one point in time that uh, there was a flash of lightning, uh, but uh, you weren't able to kind of convert the uh, the screen brightness and such to the correct level for you to see mm. anything. And it's just like as it came to the cusp of the the roof, uh, and then when the lightning died down, you could it started seeing things again. Uh, but there's nothing on the roof except for kind of this. Uh, Going to have to make some adjustments later, I, pre I pre presume. Black splatterings. Machines fail, my friend. Machines fail. You can't. You can't trust metal and wires. That you yeah, well, I, I would say your construct failed too. And he. he... Uh, not my construct. I didn't make this one. I'll make something better out of its remains. So is uh, Nicola able the to metal see fails to see anything at all Flesh. over the roofs, or um, other than the splattering of blood? Uh, it doesn't seem to be anything. Well, I do say that, in perhaps in this one instance, uh, our big friend here might be the appropriate response. My coast clear. Um, the, in my mind, the Technofan armor doesn't have eyes, um, <laughs> or maybe it, it like has like, just like this black kind of exterior, like the whole thing is just like this dark kind of exoskeleton and it turns from the door to the both of you and it says, machines fail, flesh picks up where it must. And, yes. um, he like yes. walks outside and tries to do the... Uh, what is it? <laughs> right, it's the. It has a really cool name. I know. I know what it. What to call it in my mind, but it's like yeah. techno enhanced armor with um power assisted thrust. I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Power, power thrust. Power <laughs> thrust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he just kind of. <laughs> he just walks outside of the house, thrust. and he like. He like um goes down to a squat and then like poof, like just shoots up into the air uh towards like onto the rooftops and just begins kind of going along those. Yeah. Oh and I have Yeah, you guys you guys see the techno font just like break earth as it launches itself into the sky. See? Uh, another see round okay, of that, lightning. Perhaps that was impressive. Flesh over the machine. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck yeah <laughs> bro this is cool alright <laughs> okay cool I marked myself down for nine armor pellets right now because I use those every time I, yeah. I do the thing okay excellent uh, so you you kind of bound and leap towards this uh, the seed near where the spider is, um, 
having kind of eyes on the location, uh, you see that there is a bit of um, flesh uh, draped across the top of the roof, uh, kind of spilling blood across the corner all the way down to the ground, which is just kind of lost in the darkness and the, the rain. Uh, but seeing kind of like this flesh laid bare upon the, the top of this uh, old house uh, is kind of stark as you're, you're here. Um, you see that kind of the, the rain is washing away uh, a very large puddle of blood in the center of the roof, uh, dribbling down to the other side in the back alley. There are also kind of broken tiles uh, in almost a walking uh, pace from one another, heading to the northeast. Mm. Oh, goodness. It's heading towards the northeast. It seems like a trail is going towards the northeast. There's a puddle. It's puddling out onto the street. Um, my squishy friends are back at the house. <laughs> um <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? Yeah. I am, uh, I guess I turn on, like, I, I, what, what as far as audio functions are there for the Technofant armor? Is there, like, a heavy microphone that can, like, blare out into the, the... Uh, so usually there's, um, so commanders would have something like that. Uh, for you, like a, yeah, yeah. For you, you can always uh, just kind of uh, press the side of the neck, and the armor will kind of tip forward or or tip up in a way so that you can speak to to someone. Okay, kind of so like a little. I'm going to... <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I grab the body, um, bring it back to the shop, um. And I, and I let and I, I I assume that as soon as I show up with a fleshy thing, I semi is just like, <laughs> <laughs> and I and I I um make space with, from the other body and put it on the table as well. And um, um, well, does say to them, disconcerting <laughs> thing. Well. It's on the roof. Well, look can at give this. chase. Look at Brother, this. Brother, you like to tag along? You need to take... No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Thank you for the invitation, but... Uh... <laughs> Dear friend, architect, perhaps... um, It would be... Wise for you to assist us, given your set of skills, but think. The danger to your supply. <laughs> they waste the parts. Oh, anything, anything that wastes the parts must be... Oh. Out with. Uh, yes. Uh, oh. Then we must move these bodies. Ah, uh, I have a basement. We put them there to stay dry until I can, so they can start uh, drying out. Yes, yes, here. Um, and yeah, he picks up both. He picks up both. It, it's a process. It's a lot of <laughs> <laughs> to open this yeah. trap door. Yeah. <laughs> Down there. Down there. Yes. Help! Alright, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there, there, there. Secure now. No one can, no one can get in there without, without me. My, my subjects, my parts. Let's, let's, let's go and stop the thieves, the defilers. We have to stop them. Uh, okay. The sanctity. To preserve the sanctity. And while they're doing this, Niccolo is recalling his drone and safely stowing it away. I assume it takes a few minutes to manage to lift this yeah. <laughs> this um this door to his uh, chamber of horrors. 
Okay. It's not Chamber of Horrors. It's Place of Holy Sanctitude. A place filled with flesh. It is a now temple. Then. I have a special construct down there. Do you want to see it? Anywhere, let's move. He like <laughs> oh. <laughs> he grabs he grabs um semi and um ah, no no hands off hands off hands off don't touch don't touch hands on Nicolo uh, he grabs semi and Nicolo and launches back up to the to the <laughs> and anyone who can listen just hears this this thin voice just scream not be cold <laughs> launch back brings you all back up to. The... Yeah, poor then back semi. up to the um, uh, poor, poor Semi. <laughs> and um, shows the trail work. and just begins walking that way. Uh, and it's wet and you've torn my hood and... Oh, oh. Pulls out, like, as I'm walking, as he's walking, pulls out, like, a needle and thread, bone and sinew, and just starts, like... <laughs> fixing the hood. <laughs> Gotta stay warm. Yeah, Gotta you maybe warm. don't want to know what his coat is made of, but <laughs> it's... It's the latest fashion. It looks very warm. A... That may or may not be a problem. Very utilitarian <laughs> society, man. Where... <laughs> we use flesh for almost anything, so I'm not... Yeah. Fiore isn't that um, surprised. Mmm... It's a coat mm -hmm. of many colors, like that old uh, pre-collapse movie. <laughs> <laughs> Nicola's not so much Joseph surprised by it, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, it's perhaps maybe. less um, enthused at the use of flesh than um, some members of our delegation. The gruesomeness is kind of expected from Sammy at this yeah. point. <laughs> yeah, and this this is probably annoys oh, yeah. the technosophists. Like the architects are always respected more within the society because they are the arbitrators of uh the citadel of science, and the technosophists are the outliers because of their kind of dedication and love to like the old world electronics and such. Yes, we know, uh, I feel we, like we know how to speak the old languages such as C++ exactly. and Java. You know, the important useless, things in life. Useless languages. <laughs> useless. Your machines break. My people, <laughs> we, know, we know the true secrets, the true knowledge of flesh and bone. And I speak the ancient tongue of Kobol. <laughs> All the while, Fiore is just whirring and bzzz and pfft and pfft. And completely unfazed by the philosophical argument that has arrived. Yeah, yeah. The philosophical argument in the rain is being heard, but it's not Tuesday. acknowledged. <laughs> That's Tuesday. Yeah, like, it's Tuesday. <laughs> uh, you know, as you guys are, are walking and such, um, you come across uh, just following this trek uh, northeast, you come across a little dolly um, made from uh, bits of barley sewn together with um, two little uh, just kind of button eyes upon it. Nicola's going to bend down and scoop it up and take a better look at it and glance around see... Yeah. Clearly, somebody has dropped this. Someone made a simile of a machine. And yeah. are we able to, am I able, uh, Niccolo, able to see anything through the rain? Yeah, go ahead and give me uh, a, a test for that. So, um, perception. So you got, you can play two cards because you're trained in it. Yeah, uh, and it's would... steam. And it's steam, which is clubs. Conveniently, I have... <clears throat> and pretty much uh, the more su every success is a question you get to ask me concerning the uh, area around. Okay. Um, I'm going to play an ace of clubs. That's Yeah, it's clubs. And a two of clubs. So that's two successes. All right. What are your questions? Um... Is there anything within sight that may have been uh, the source of dropping this? 
Yeah. So as you're you're picking it up and, and looking up and around, uh, you notice that the uh, the train tracks kind of go over this particular part. Uh, it's almost like uh, the old roller coasters where someone would drop an item. Uh, okay. Suggesting that this might have came from uh, a train or maybe something on the tracks itself. Uh, and with that particular question, is there anything within sight on the tracks themselves? No. So around this time, like you guys definitely are at kind of the, the ending of the, the train line as the trains kind of go back to their depots and uh, take off for the night until the morrow. Um, so there definitely shouldn't be any more trains going by. <laughs> End of the line. Hmm. Her machines. Limitations. Your your creations are so limited. <laughs> well, it came from up there. Ah. <laughs> uh, my big friend, could you uh, get yourself up there? Not me, not me, not the coat, not the coat. One he he almost he, he like tonight. almost does like grab you like before you say not the code and then he like goes back and like turns his head over to Niccolo. I can I just uh, give the drone to him and in, instead to take up. <laughs> um, he does take the drone and like he puts it on his shoulder, um, and uh, yeah, he launches himself up there again. <sighs> Yeah, uh, coming back up onto the the train tracks, um, uh, your kind of feet uh, making this very because uh, the techno powered armor is, is very heavy, uh, so you feel kind of the strain uh, in a slight jiggling of the 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 rails as it's kind of set above uh, the street. A little bit right. of wind making it a little bit more unstable. Um, but as you come down onto the track, you definitely see more kind of splatters of this, uh, black, uh, visceral, uh, liquid, uh, set upon the tracks and heading forward. Yeah, I, um, take the, 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 uh, the, oh god, the drone from my shoulder and I place it on the track and then I look back down to Niccolo and I nod. Uh, for the drone to go forward. All right. Um, before I attempt that, can I uh, catch a breath? Because mm -hmm. I yeah. I need to make some changes to this hand, which is currently. So I discard a card and then draw back up to six. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like a a couple of minutes go by as like the the technosophist is just like, Ooh. uh maybe eating a, a sandwich or something or just relax <laughs> yeah. for a little bit. <laughs> Fiore is deadpan staring down at him as as Niccolo pulls out a so uh, like a sandwich and just like starts eating it like fucking making direct eye contact with Fiore. Fiore is still standing looking down at him like uh, all right take a breath. Uh, take a breath. Maybe. Yeah, everyone can take a breath at this point in time if if you kind of want to spend some time relaxing a little bit. Okay. I don't know how relaxed yeah. uh, Fiore <laughs> is, but uh... discard card, draw six. Yeah, he's yeah. You draw back. Up he's to six. he's he's too overworked to. Uh, yeah. To, uh, <laughs> so what if, what effect do I get yeah. from the Joker? So the Joker is a critical. Okay. Uh, so it's like your your uh, your trump card uh, of endeavor. Okay. Um, how many successes will I need for this with the uh, moving the drone forward to patrol a little bit ahead? Uh, for this on the train track, you don't need anything. Uh, okay. You just kind of uh, tap it to move forward with your controls after you've kind of uh, maybe cleaned up some of the software a little bit, finished your yeah. sandwich. Uh, what type of sandwich is it? It's uh, it's ham, you know, or a, a close approximation of ham, given the uh, yeah. situation we're in. Oh jeez! It, it is oh, not. Oh goodness! Ham. Yeah, hand it's not human. Similar. No, it's it's not. I, I it's not 
No, it's not long hand, long pork. So, <laughs> um, I mean, whew. that has its uses. <laughs> and he just kind of goes, he just moves, watches on his screen, and moves the drone forward. It glitter like he does the, like this little spider. Maybe takes a step away from the, the yeah. Architect. Just um, okay. Fiore, you do I, hear I, I, like I, a muffled like. <laughs> seeing you have to deal with like <laughs> the, the creepy architect. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not creepy. I just architect wanted to go Sanders. home and have a nice cup of By tea, Sanders. but you no, know, just had to get involved. As architects go, I'm actually rather low key. Aim. That's terrifying. <laughs> it's also probably a lie, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man! So yeah, uh, watching the the little thing move forward, it comes to uh, a tunnel. Uh, this tunnel uh, kind of goes down into the earth, uh, usually where the trains are kind of kept during the night. Um, next to it, you see several candles on buildings, kind of these row homes uh, attached to the uh, the large bank that goes down into the earth. Um, there's a little bit of like a jazz coming from it, um, as well mm, as a good. construct outside of it, well dressed uh, and having an umbrella. Uh, does the trail of blood continue down the tracks, or does it veer off at any point? It it just kind of vanishes by the time you get a few meters from this. Uh, mm. This rain making this difficult. Yes. Rain. What a and convenient. I'm gonna give it I'm gonna shout out shout up to Fiori as well to uh describe what's ahead on the tracks and that the blood just sort of vanishes, possibly because of the weather, who knows at this at this point. Yeah. And also clearly um my friend architect here would hear at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh Fiori just kinda nods, um and kind of uh, at the same time just kind of walks forward on the train tracks to like maybe like see it just a little bit more like oh like it really does disappear oh no oh goodness what does that mean wait if it could jump up all the way up here like fly and then he like or perhaps climbed perhaps climb uh, yes climbing is more likely i've been trying to build something yeah. that flies for he does just oh, kind of look know. around, like the buildings, like like nearby, if there are any, like see if there are any more of those climbing marks. Yeah, looking around. Uh, why don't you give me a perception test? Okay, um, that is not something I'm trained in, so I can't <laughs> put down anything. Well. Oh. oh, yeah. I'll just put down. <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm having to remember. Um... <laughs> Club is steam. Club is steam. Would, right, right. Okay. Be this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Then I just have to put down a five. All right. Uh, so that's one success. All right. Excellent. Um, looking around, um. Between like the the ever kind of pounding of the thunder in the distance, uh, the rain uh, dropping onto the steel rails rails and kind of making that like pitter patter, uh, tinging sound as it does. Uh, a little bit of jazz kind of uh, moving through and cutting through this kind of uh, ambient noise. Um, you see uh, one of the uh, kind of clay parts of this building to the right with its music and such has a crack upon it. Um, one that doesn't look like it's been there for very long. You can kind of see the the water hasn't completely filled uh, the crack and isn't kind of dripping all the way down yet. Um, instead, you can kind of see the lines of the water start to to move against it and, and begin the process of, of kind of trickling down, but it's not there yet. 
suggesting that maybe something went by that real, real close by and soon or recent. Yeah. Um, Fiore picks up the, the odd little spider thing, places it on his shoulder, um, taps it to get his, uh, to get, uh, Nicola's attention and points over at the clay structure and then shoots himself over in that direction. I think a friend would like us to, uh, meet him. Uh, uh, unless you'd like to go in from the rain, of course. I mean, it's, but the... Mm. And without waiting for him to finish the stuttering, he, uh, Nicola goes to meet up with Fiore. Oh, pulls the hood back up, <laughs> kind of pats the top to make sure that the, the scalps that are the, the hood are still stitched securely together and, oh, I just, just want to work at my c- 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 constructs and hustle after them. Uh, not moving nearly as fast because even Nicola has legs are like twice as long as mine are. And just <laughs> chugga, 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 chugga. It'll take me a while, but I'll get there. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming, guys. Oh, poor, poor Sammy. <laughs> Poor crazy Sammy. <laughs> He's yeah. probably getting what he deserves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he didn't do anything wrong. Um, oh, nothing wrong. I might have stolen some parts. Okay. What? What? They weren't being properly used. Oh, okay. All you right. can use them better. Yes. But this is totally what I deserve for stealing from the high architect that one totally wasteful construct of his <laughs> should have just get my hands <laughs> to myself <laughs> hey tin man uh, what you seeing up there yeah so fiore uh coming up onto the rooftop um you see like a little hatch that goes into the building itself i was gonna say uh, poor pity that. anybody who lives inside <laughs> this giant <laughs> Super. I don't know. Do you like hear like a room? Yeah. Hit the like, roof, like, hey, get down. <laughs> Wait, I live on the top floor. <laughs> um, yeah, Fiore is on this little hut, little hut space. Um, and there's a hatch, he said. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Um, hmm. and the trail would, su- would suggest that it's going in there. Yeah, like there's no evidence of it, but um, it's kind of just eliminating or, or Occam's razor is the, the easiest solution, at least. In sure. Um, Fiore um, puts the spider down um, onto the thing, pushes it towards the hatch, looks over the edge, and says, Possible assertion of threat. Yeah. I have to repair this thing later. And um, Nicola is going to try to ha- move, maneuver the drone inside once he gets the hatch open. Once the. Uh, Fiori's going to open up the hatch. Yeah, once our Tin yeah. Man gets the uh, hatch open. Yeah, it's very oh, and... easy with your strength. You just kind of. Um, oh, and when he fully opens it up, he uh-huh. does like shoot out the um, uh, the blades just to get them ready, I think. Yeah. <laughs> oh god that's so cool fuck all right <laughs> uh and uh, something you see immediately when the the hatch opens up is kind of like a little um starry sky projected against the the hatch uh as the spider drone kind of goes down uh it notices there are two beds uh with small figures uh, underneath the covers um there's several books that line the wall and you see like this little miniature carousel of a night sky projecting uh these images against the wall and the ceiling um a little bit of the rain is now kind of uh trickling into this space a ca- red carpet in the center um as well as several chests filled with wooden boxes and, and little wooden toys and so he's going to pilot the spider drone back out. Mm-hmm. 
and somewhat quietly relay the information the best he can to Fiore and, of course, I guess our architect friend, since he's he, he has decided that to tag along at least, maybe to get more parts. Who knows? <laughs> so, it, it, yeah, it seemed to me we found a child's bedroom. Sweet Correction, children. children's bedroom. Uh, Fiore looks down into it, and I want to try and use um, readiness. Um, All right. To ascertain if there are any, like, um, you know. Fuck, what if the children are, are fucking demons, bro? I don't know. Um, <laughs> Demon babies. I have played Demon enough babies. Silent Hill games to know where this is going. Yet, of course, the children feel secure inside their dreams. I live in a, I live in a necromantic society. Let's rock. <laughs> Let's do this. Um, All right, how many successes can you give me? Uh, uh, a two is what you need for something special. Okay, um, this is something I'm trained in, so I can try. Me, what what would happen if I placed down a Joker? Ooh, that's like your your super success. So it unlocks all sorts of goodies for you. Let me use that. I will yeah, use that. that sort of thing. Yeah, I am into that sort of thing. <laughs> yes, yes, my big friend. Find me the parts. Time to show off. Let me work. Yeah, it's it's kind of like you're you're looking around, uh, uh and, and very creepily. Like if the kids ever woke up, like this would be like nightmare <laughs> as they see like this power armored person with blades extended out, kind of peering through the hatch uh, in their window. Um, but luckily they haven't woken up yet. Uh, looking around though, you notice um. A pair of yellow eyes gazing at you from the crack of the bookshelf. Uh, Fiore cocks his head at that. Um, slowly but surely, he uses, he like, I in my mind, mm -hmm. Ray is like, was like bending his shoulders and like, di like, like, in some like inhumane way of like bending himself into the thing while also grabbing the sides of like the hatch and putting yeah. himself down with well, one arm, terrifying. yeah, just like super <laughs> like, gonna the yeah, children. <laughs> yeah. Um, he points at the yellow eyes and then upturns his hand and then like beckons it, um, come out of the bookcase and then. Uh, points the harpoon gun at it. Um, like, it just kind of, like, slowly whirs into place as it points right at the yellow eyes. Excellent. It does not come forward. Yeah, it bursts. Like, the, the whole bookshelf erupts uh, and coming for forward towards you is, like, this bulbous uh, humanoid construct. Um, eyes uh, that are uh, kind of gorged in... Uh, filled with uh, pus and, and ooze, uh, some sort of infection upon it. Uh, it is made up of about ten arms and legs as it kind of like awkwardly moves forward towards you like a human centipede. Um, Jesus. <laughs> each one of its uh, hands uh, seems to be kind of cradling a little baby as they are kind of um, uh, as it's breastfeeding while moving towards you in a very aggressive manner. There are three God. little babies upon it. <laughs> it's um, a nativity bot! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's largely intact. And that thing is it's wake up and you hear the shrillest scream ever as each one pops their head up from their pillow, sees you, sees this horrific thing, and screams. Um, so, uh, your consequences are uh, starting at like the the worst would be being dismembered, um, and then <laughs> you can kind of 
get off from that, the better. Or you can just go full offense. Uh, and sorry, we'll we'll say it's two successes to to avoid its kind of wrath. Um, so it, it's kind of up to you in this combat. Like, do you want to focus on full attack, full defense, or do you kind of want to do it a, a balanced uh, way about it? Um, I yeah. want to. So in Firenze, life is sacred. The children are sacred. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we have a we have like a positive like death rate. Like more people are dying every day than people are being born. Probably. Yeah, definitely. Or, because like though they've over decreased, the stagnant. It, well, they've decreased the amount of deaths that have occurred, but it's still very hard to conceive a child. Um, so children are like they they are very much sacred like all life is sacred but especially children who have more life yes, ahead of them the um every um, uh mother is actually gifted a construct from the citadel to take care of said child during the the pregnancy stage as well as post just to make sure everything is a okay um fiore will go on like the absolute defensive if the kids will get hurt, if the babies will get hurt, he will do as much to sacrifice himself uh, without dying and being out of commission to Excellent. make sure that the kids are okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, so you can, if you can get two um, steel cards or two steel successes, uh, then you can kind of do all of that. Uh, okay. That is your diamonds. Oh God, steel, right. Diamonds. Yes. Yeah. And you um, are trained I... in combat, so you get to put two. Yes. Oh, this is perfect. Um, <laughs> so, uh, in kind of a mix of martial arts um, and this kind of defensive motion, we only have an... Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You put me into a rough decision. In a mix of martial arts with best the extended decision. blades outward, the <laughs> best decision. He shoots himself forward, um, and I'm going to place a jack and a... Oh, goodness. That will give me one success. Mm -hmm. And a four of hearts. And a value of a jack is four. So that together will create an eight. Mm -hmm. So a cumulative thing of two successes. Correct. With the blades, he is going to try and... How many babies? <laughs> Three babies. Three little babies. Oh, goodness. Um, Yeah. He's not going to try and grab the babies. Mm -hmm. He's just going to cut off the arms at the base and, like, pull the babies, um, like, into, like, not into his chest, but, like, and then turtle. Like, he's not going to, like, squish them into him. He's going to yeah. turn his back. Right to right to the nativity bot with the babies in, in like held against his chest. All right, cool. Uh, so yeah, you you this thing kind of rushes forward, and you can see like uh, it, it's it's it has so many hands, but each one is kind of elongated, almost like several finger bones attached to each other, and then kind of sharpened at the end of it uh, with almost like this steel tip. <laughs> uh, as it races forward, and it you can see it's like smashing against your armor, uh, trying to tear into the, your your chest cavity. So you like like blinding like uh, flashes of light as like sparks uh, fly off of your armor as you just go forward, slash one of the arms, uh, and you're able to catch one baby with this turn uh, as you grab it and, and kind of turn around to ensure that uh, it's protected. Uh, the other children continue to scream, um, and the, the kind of force of it smacking into you uh, causes you to kind of, uh, you're, you're kind of pushed against the wall, and it starts to crack as, like, your your body is smashes into it, but the baby is following you, protecting it, uh, but people on the outside see, like, this crack start to form on the, the top floor of the, the wall. Um, well, while I am against the wall, I will say, um, in the sweetest, kindest voiced, 
My sweet children, please leave the premises as I am doing my work, and I do not work that well with children around. Please leave. Please leave. I'm asking you so nicely. Leave. Shh, 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 bambino, bambino, work with me here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that so much. Yeah, they, they are flipping the fuck out as they're running down the hallway like, Mama! So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hearing the screaming and the cracks in the wall, um, Nico is going to try a door into the building. Does, does it like try to get in? Yeah. Uh, to so get up there? Remember the, the construct, uh, there's a construct with like an umbrella in front of it. As you approach, it kind of uh, almost like a little guard sign. It moves this like little hand forward, blocking your path. Uh, this is, this is, um, the, there's danger and it's citadel business. And he points to the architect behind him, who is I'm. I appear. I would assume I'm struggling to keep up. Yes, he's like a good like thirty feet behind you, just <laughs> lifting up the apron. Yeah. yeah just, like a priest, just holding it in one hand and the other hand's just like, like the gotta get the like pumping. What a mix of adorable. <laughs> Strange and, and, and absolutely just, terrifying. Okay, yeah. absolutely terrifying. <laughs> like if you got Sammy out of his like architect clothes, you'd think he'd be like moderately attractive, but he's so like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's no saving him. Uh, but yes, catches up and glare looks at the construct and Citadel, Citadel business. Oh my god, let me in, let me in. Wait. It kind of lifts the arm I up. Do it. Do it. Get out of my way. And thank you. thank you. Nickel will haul the door open, trying not to hit the construct or the architect, and dash inside and attempt yeah. to find a way upstairs to whatever uh, the space of the way after him. Just kind of pause, like pat the construct on the flank and be like, I built you right. I built you right. Oh, just. <laughs> yeah, and he doesn't respond at all. It just continues staring forward. Um, you guys come into like a stairway, suggesting that this place is kind of like a, a little, uh, kind of like one of those old homes that have been turned into an apartment complex. Uh, very well kept together, clean, uh, with doors to the left and right, and then a stairwell uh, kind of circling around. Uh, which you hear, like, some of the doors have opened, and they're screaming coming from above. Uh, and... Up there, I presume. Yeah. <laughs> you can climb <laughs> stairs, right? I mean, yes, of course. Who can't climb stairs? I have two very functional legs. I even improved this one, and suddenly like, starts pulling up his, his trouser leg, which you see his trousers are also made of of hide and the, yeah. the, the chin down the the, like the knee down the leg is a different color than the rest of the leg and see see it's good yeah and you realize uh dear architect <clears throat> with that construct outside you may not even have to walk yourself upstairs if you wanted to program the thing real quick to carry you <laughs> well you go ahead I'll be right, I'll be right, I'll be right back so and Nicolo is going to take off running up the stairs, shaking his head in tire of ways like, I should just go back to the great dump. I should just go back. I'm going to go and see about fiddling with the... Uh... All right, perfect. Uh, so oh, yeah, this is uh, necro-neurological programming. Uh, so this is your gear skill. Um, and all you need is one success uh, to get it to just pick you up and carry you upstairs. So it's pretty simple. Um, Gear. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> okay, what's my gear skill? Scoop up, scoop up, scoop up. Uh, scoop, scoop. Neuro, neurological programming. Uh, that would be. Uh, da -da -da. That's using spades. Spades. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Uh, I've got a six of spades and a three of diamonds. Uh, yeah, you could, just, you could just use a six of spades. All it needs is one success. Okay. Uh, ah. for this. Uh, so yeah, you, you just, it, it's kind of <laughs> opening the the back of the, the courts. Uh, it's almost like the, the Alan Turing kind of um, early game computers with all the little rotating 
uh, swivels on the back, and you just kind of like click some some wires and, and move some things around, uh, and then like reattach it to the steam powered machine that's kind of sprouting from the back, um, slamming the the flesh back in uh, as it turns to you and kind of picks you up uh, and starts <laughs> running up the stairs. And uh, Nicolo, uh, you you think you you you've left the architect behind, and then you just hear this nightmarish cackling. It just <laughs> <laughs> uh, and don't look back. back. Don't look back. <laughs> don't look back. <laughs> you hear the running. <laughs> it's it's a beautiful thing. Uh, but speaking of beautiful things, uh, parenthood. Uh, which is what uh, our dear uh, Fiore is uh, fighting against. Um, so this round coming up, uh, because you were able to guard it, it only has one consequence uh, associated with you, which is trying to... Uh, now, it doesn't seem to be able to open up your chest cavity that easily. So it looks like it's trying to get one of its claws into any of your openings uh, to kind of start splaying you uh, apart. Um but yeah, what do you want to do? Oh my goodness, what what could I do? <sighs> don't die, construct. don't die, don't die. Yeah, I mean, fucking hell. Don't damage the construct either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. That's the big concern. My, don't my damage man, the construct. My, my man has one, has one prerogative in his brain. All right, Semi. <laughs> We're not inviting one of us to not go out drinking after this. Okay. Um. I, I don't drink. I need steady hands. You're probably drinking bombing fluid. Yeah. Um, oh shit. Are are constructs affected by by light? Um, not really. Uh, though oh, it okay. depends on how they were made, but for the most part, they're not. Uh, they're not kind of light adverse. It could like gotcha. blind them, just like it would a human. Um. Mm. So, but nothing like specific. Um. um. Yeah. Uh. So it's trying to push him. It's it's trying to just rip me to fucking shreds. Yeah. Okay. You can, um. Like, uh, several arms and, and claws just kind of poking and prodding at your, your different places, trying to find a, a crack in your armor to rip it apart. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Oh, goodness. Uh, only one thing comes to mind, um, and that is to... I hope this doesn't hurt any babies. Um... I place my feet against the wall being pushed and I use power assisted thrust. Oh um, yeah. Try and, yeah, right from the feet, just trying to push it back. Um and uh get behind it, I guess. And like maybe All while trying to cradle this child as well. All while trying to cradle the child. The true form of nativity. <laughs> um, <laughs> A mech pilot with a baby. <laughs> oh, I'll make notes. Yeah. I will make notes of that for the future, you know. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> oh no. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Um. All right. Go yeah. Ahead. How many successes can I got. you give me on this? I can only give you. Oh goodness. I'm, I'm gonna try and see. I am trained in this, but I don't have any other... I, I only have a three and an ace. Um, and the three is the gear. Yeah, is during gear, so that combat, will give me that success. Yeah, during combat, you can always, like, take a moment to breathe, uh, but it'll just mm. take a full <clears throat> turn as you just work on uh, getting a better sense of the surrounding in yourself. Right. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'll take a moment to breathe. Nice. Um, Discard one card and then get back up to six. Uh, unfortunately, though, that does mean the consequence goes un uh, undealt with. So yeah. you feel some of its claws like get into like the little, uh, where your neck kind of has a little bit Sorry. of freedom of of movement, uh, and you feel part of its claw like slash against the inside of your your neck. Uh, so you feel kind of a little bit of blood starting to trickle down from your neck inside your your power armor. 
Um, gotcha. So health in here is uh, based on each of your abilities. Uh, so this is a, a trauma in steel. Uh, the first trauma is only a role play note that you are not in a good place. Uh, gotcha. The second trauma is a minus one success to everything dealing with that ability. And then it accumulates till you get to four traumas and you're just dead. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. You are I will do my cool thing there. next turn. Excellent. I'm a quarter of the way there. <laughs> All right. Going back to the architect and the technosophist as you guys are racing up the stairs. Uh, you, you see this uh, architect being carried lovingly. Uh, by its own creation, kind of bounding up the stairs. Uh, uh, now that's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm uh, I'm gonna take take a deep breath and you know continue charging up the stairs, trying to, <clears throat> based on the assumption of what I was able to see from the spider drone, likely on the top floor, and <clears throat> make a rough guess at possibly which apartment we would be going into. Yeah. So I'm, yeah, sure, I'm assuming that's the one where there's the most screaming coming from. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, it, it's pretty, like, evident as you get to the first floor. There's actually only one door here. So it looks like the, the top floor is only, only oh, by like, one person. Um, you, you kind of burst in through the door, uh, and you see, like, uh, a family, uh, a mom and dad and, and two kids kind of huddled in the kitchen, um, the mom holding a, a dagger uh right next to the fridge and then down the hall you see a little bit of stars kind of uh on the the wall from this room uh as well as screeching and some horrific other noise that would that would be our call uh don't mind us it's just a uh, citadel business the architect will be along momentarily and uh take off down the hall yeah, and then the, the construct kind of follows right behind you. The whole time digging in the bag to try to pull out the uh, the air taser that he has. Nice. <clears throat> Excellent. You guys come upon the scene uh, in this uh, during the third round is when you guys can actually act and such. Uh, but going back to Fiore, you've kind of you you take a glance, but at least you're you were prepared for the battle that is. Bleeding. Yeah, I will. I will do a flippy um, mech, uh, techno-powered movement thing and try and also grab another baby. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. All right, so uh, for this, now that it's prepared and everything, we'll say one success gives it, gets you a baby. Uh, and mm -hmm. of course, you can use one success to do damage. You can use a success to uh, block damage. It's totally up to you what you want to do. Um, it now that it has a little taste for blood, the consequences have up to two. So it is going to try to dig into your that part of your armor with several of its hands uh, and deal potentially two damage. Understood. I place down a three and a six of spades um, for the techno powered um, movement. Um, techno enhanced movement. Um, I will use the one success equals a baby, um, and the consequences are that it will actually do damage to me, um, if I don't try and block it. Yeah. So I'm going to use that one success to grab a baby and the other success to try and defend from that, essentially ripping away the arm. Um, and now I have two babies in my in my arm. You do. Uh, <laughs> like, you grab another baby and like use your hand to block and and pull out the the clawing hands as if like flails about on top of you. Uh, mm. The wall behind you has kind of burst uh, as it continues to push against you. Uh, mm. So now you can kind of feel the the water from the rain kind of hitting and, and pattering against the back of your metallic uh, suit. Uh, a little bit of lightning flares up. Oh, this sure. thing is easily like twice the size of a cow. Um, yeah. Somewhat yeah, yeah. as hairy. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Okay. All right. But Welcome. you've got two babies. Congratulations. But I got two babies. 
Mech with the baby. <laughs> Mech with the baby. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, you're supposed to make the baby. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Semi or uh, Nicola, uh, what are you guys doing? Um, seeing, seeing this, yeah, this cow, doubly cow size abomination, and this mech with two babies now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Still going like, bambino, 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 <laughs> like, like, also, like, 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 um, maybe like, there's like an inbuilt whistle where like, or like yeah. an inbuilt harmonica that he's jerry rigged and he's now harmonicaing. <laughs> yeah, and you see, like uh, the, the little baby's like the baby. <laughs> the, the baby's like yeah. sucking on like a little metal piece. Uh, Aww. Aww. Like, Aww. He's a techno sophist. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm uh, gonna try to take a shot with that air taser that I pulled out to stun this excellent thing. Awesome. Yeah, it's it's it used all of its consequences on the uh, techno font, so it has no means to defend you in in this case. So. Uh, Pretty much, how many successes you can get will deal direct damage to it. Okay, what? Which am I looking for? Um, uh, steel, um, and then <coughs> steel. Uh, yeah, and I can only play one card because I do not have. Correct. Okay, so <clears throat> I have been saving this for just such a situation. My Joker. Ooh, excellent! All Fuck right. Fuck yeah. Cool. <laughs> uh, so There's we'll no better say... no better time. Oh yeah, no you, you hit it like right in in its sweet spot. Uh, there's a <laughs> little part in the back of it which looks kind of like a regular back of a human, uh, somewhat hairy, but it has like several lacerations on the on the back of it with kind of this black goo coming out of it. Uh, a little bit of kind of sepsis leaking from these wounds. Uh, and you shoot right into it, the like the the dart just kind of it, it exploding into that uh, that gross cut, and then sending electrical arcs throughout its whole body. Uh, you guys see its hair, which is kind of long and brown, uh, start to like fizzle up, and the smell of burnt flesh and, and hair oh, fills the oh, room. <laughs> I am uh, stunning the creature. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's it's stunned for so uh, that will negate two successes from its next uh, action. Um, Meanwhile, it's like <laughs> like violently like <laughs> like oh my god, this thing, what the fuck, <laughs> does not look peaceful at all. Whatever stunning <laughs> is happening. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> yeah, especially for, for you, Fiore, you, looking at this thing, like, its eyes are starting to leak more of that black goo onto the floor, and its mouth is extending further and further out, which seems to encompass the size of half of your body, uh, filled with little hands kind of reaching out from its mouth, uh, uh, each one with claws on the end of it, almost like teeth. Um, but Architect, what are you up to? <laughs> Yes, so so this construct, this beautiful construct, is is stunned now. I want to find its. I want to find its panel. I want to access it. I want to go yeah. to work. I want to see what makes this beautiful horror tick. I'm like this is just like uh, Alien Resurrection. That scientist who's like <laughs> beautiful baby. Uh, <laughs> oh no! What have we done? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> It's so perfect. <laughs> so Excellent. you see, you know the you see the panel on the back, uh, as well as part of its steam engines uh, kind of uh, lurching out of it. Um, go ahead and make your roll. So I have perfect card for this situation. I've got a joker of spades. <laughs> uh, and to get as Let's many go. successes as I uh, to get as far as I can, I'm. Oof, uh, this is four, uh, so I'm gonna throw in an eight, uh, so it's twelve plus the critical. All right. 
Yeah, so looking at the the back of it, as it, it's like it, it's the same kind of gears and stuff that you're used to. It just everything is kind of mucked up with this black goo, this this sepsis like thing. It, it looks like it's definitely been distorted and and such. Uh, but you can kind of see that because of this um, uh, abrasion and infection, that a lot of the programming has gone off the rails. Uh, and much like malware is attempting to spread as well as take care of its prime function, which was to protect and take care of children. Uh, but now it's doing everything it can to do that. Oh, I want to stop this to you, my beautiful child. Don't worry. Don't worry. I can make it all better. I'll get you right back to normal. I'll make you so bright and beautiful. And I'll be the talk of the city for this. Everyone will know. Everyone will know. I did this. Meanwhile, I, um, Fiore so... is is furiously trying to soothe the babies and like <laughs> doing a good job and and hearing this fucker be like, "My baby, my baby!" Like you, you feel this this seethe of anger <laughs> almost. It just goes completely over Semi's head. You just see like handfuls of the black goop being like shoveled out and like, no, must must clean it out. Must clean yeah. this. Perfect. Um, and this is kind of, uh, especially uh, Fiore and uh, Nicolo, uh, looking around, you notice that uh, there is a chamber uh, that it must have came from behind the, this bookcase, like almost a little crawl space that it's been hiding in. Um, but part of its body is coming from that location. It's almost elongated, bulbish-like thing. And as you look at it, you notice that it's moving. Uh, the pitter-patter of feet and fingers as the other side of this lurches forward, connected to it, uh, and kind of jumping, uh, much like a face hugger with, like, its hands and stuff extended out in a very parachute-like <laughs> way towards uh, our dear Technosophus. Like, um... <laughs> <laughs> no! Um, I have a sinking feeling that my hands rummaging around might have had something to do um, with that. Also. <laughs> can I? Oh dear. Um. Let's say. Yeah, you're dealing with two consequences. Uh, <laughs> we won't have to deal with it till the end of the turn. Uh, so that does mean uh, your friends could help, theoretically, if they wanted to. Um, but yeah, uh, it will, with those consequences, be mm -hmm. trying to wrap around your head and start choking you. <laughs> uh, yes. What do you do? Hmm. Um, what could you do? What could you do, Nicolo? What can I do? Oh. This is a this is a good question. Yeah, you could uh getting out of the could, way would probably be a good choice here. Either that or shooting yeah, it. One or the other. Yeah, you can either like you can you can take like you can eliminate one success and prevent it from like uh, grabbing hold of you, but it still does some damage, or you could just focus on damage and hopes that it just goes down, or you could just duck out of the way. Uh, like, it really depends on and what you want to focus your successes on. Uh, um, the consequence is, there's two consequences. One grabbing you, and one dealing damage. So you could eliminate any of those to affect the narrative. And trying to get out of the way would be athletics? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that would be, um, yeah, I'm just going to play an Ace of Diamonds, which should match the suit for that, and just mm -hmm. not be grabbed. I'll take the, I will take the bit of damage, but Excellent. I would rather not be flashed. Yeah, in yeah, like don't, don't, whatever don't that is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. Please, so. Okay. So. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll say the architect. You're still uh, you're you're programming it and stuff like that. Uh, your the ending of your stuff will come 
uh, not the next round, but the round right after it. So pretty yeah. few rounds uh, to mechanize and clean stuff out. Uh, but techno fun, you uh, still can do stuff. Uh, this thing is done for the time being. Um, who knows how long that will last? You can see kind of the electricity running through its mouth as it kind of saliva dripping from it onto the ground. Uh, you're still have long enough. Yeah. Right. Long like, enough. <laughs> Um, thing jumping towards your your friend. Um, Fiore will use. I gotta update how many armor pellets I've done. So you know, down to that amount. Just burn um, through those things. I, I mean, <laughs> if you got a mech, use it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Uh. Okay, so it's leaping towards my buddy. Um, my buddy is like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> About to get hit by this. Um, so, there are a couple things I could do. Um, may, may I suggest the, starting just... with setting the babies down? <laughs> so you have some free hands. Use the babies! Kind of... <laughs> Use the babies! Oh! <laughs> right, oh, flesh is flesh! Um, oh so... <laughs> Oh god. Uh, um we're getting <laughs> reprimanded for this. Yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah. Punt the baby. Don't punt the baby. I'm getting yelled at in push chat. Okay, no, so fine. oh we're going to. Um but <laughs> Oof, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's gonna be hmm. And and by the way, what semi is just like elbow deep in this construct, <laughs> right? Yeah, like in, in yeah. Exactly. He's, he's basically rewiring it. Yeah, right. And so so me breaking down the wall and pushing the construct out of it will not um, be good for semi. So no yeah, you that. probably kill him. Yeah. Oh well, man. You know, there's consequences. Life to your is actions, sacred. So. <laughs> Uh, so I guess going off of like what we previously stated of like a, a success will equal a baby um, mm -hmm. I'm going to use uh, sorry it, it, to, to figure this all out it's fun I can make I, it's essentially making my own hands in, in poker like trying to make a flush happen but trying to get yeah, successes yeah. It's fun. Um, I like that. Uh, so just trying to remember to get my stuff right. So for techno-powered stuff, I'm going to use an ace of spades, but then I'm going to use a... Uh, I'm going to use a four of club... Oh, wait, can I do that? Oh, wait, can I do that? Oh, right, I'm pushing it to the limit. <laughs> I think that's what I said to myself. Push the limit. If the player has dropped all the cards uh, allowed during a play, but they are still not satisfied with the result, they can push the limit by discarding a card from their hand and immediately placing the top card of their top card of their deck. Gotcha. Sorry yeah. about that. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to place an ace of spades, and since I'm trained in a four of clubs, and I'm going to push the limit, um, essentially what I need is a, something above a, above a four or at a four. Excellent. Okay. Right. Not bad odds. Exactly. Exactly a four of diamonds. So oh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So that is two successes. Um. So one success to get another baby, and essentially I want to uh get the baby and then shoot and try and like kick. I guess that that fucking grabber from like away from getting my buddy from getting yeah. Nicolo. Don't damage the contact. I will damage you if you don't shut your fucking mouth. I am fixing. <laughs> yeah, so uh Best of friends. This, yeah, this <laughs> moment as this thing is reaching its arm out and uh our, our dear Technosophist kind of rolls out of the way. Um but one of its arm kind of elongates and it looks like it's trying to do like two fingers into your mouth to start like ripping uh 
your face like even wider. Uh, and then it just gets smashed uh, as as something shoots off from the uh, the techno font, uh, smashing it against the the library. Um, blood is kind of covering uh, the techno no uh, face. Uh, it's kind of oozy black. It smells like uh, like soured milk. It's just like Ooh. and chunky too. So that's fun. <laughs> Oh. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Question mark. Prego. I hope you didn't damage anything too important. Remember what I said, architect. <laughs> you can't damage me. Who do you think's gonna fix you when this is all over? Another architect. <laughs> None are better than me. <laughs> yeah, and you continue to pull this this gunk out. Uh, the Technophon having these three babies uh, just kind of cuddling up against his power armored chest. Uh, truly yeah. a tender moment. Uh, oh, our very. <laughs> Nicolo has uh, this chunky uh, milk residue uh, upon his face. Um, And then that final turn, the architect's able to get the rest of the gunk out uh, and just kind of disconnect as the thing kind of rolls forward, limp. Uh, uh, easy, easy there. Easy. Still. Easy. Uh. <sighs> um, and now back a... on his feet, Nicole's going to keep the air taser pointed at the thing until he's sure. Easy, gentle. Yes, gentle. <laughs> Fiora is going to um, gingerly, gingerly walk the babies out of the room, <laughs> grab a blanket before he leaves, place the babies in a, in a nest of the blanket, mm -hmm. and then go back to the architect and the technosophist and let out a hard sigh as he... <laughs> disengages from the suit. Techno font. Roll in. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose um, that could have gone worse, Niccolo says, looking out the hole in the side of the wall. <laughs> yes. Babies could have died, or you could have irreparably broken this Beautiful construct. Construct yes, that is, get broken. That is the absolute the worst thing point. that could have happened. The whole <laughs> point for having a construct is for it to possibly get broken so that humans don't. <laughs> yes, but this is the best case scenario. You saved the babies. Slash bless their names. And you also managed to not break irreparably this beautiful construct which I think is almost yes. ready to wake back up although I might wake want it up. to don't wake it up it yeah I, we should probably not do that last thing yeah don't wake but it up why not Please. this thing it is a work of art although before just... you do that before you do that grand architect <sighs> tell me why did it malfunction what is something to do with this uh and kind of realizes only just now realizes that his hands are covered in this filthy black ooze. Chunk. And you just you both just see him go, uh, mm. uh walks over to to uh to, to your back, Nicolo, and like the clean fabric on your back just like rub, wipes his hands clean. Thank you. The, the thank back. you kindly for that. Yes, yes, uh, thank you. No, I should thank you. Out. Ah, and takes a little a vial out of one of the pockets of his massive apron and kind of scoops, uses it to scoop up some of the black, chunky fluid. Whatever this is, cost malfunction. Some kind of corruptive influence on the program 
of this Rotter's construct. Influence. Yes. Suppose okay. that's uh, not Even. natural, then? Well, I natural if such to, thing is. I would have to test it. It might be something I could repurpose and... You remember the you... constructs that we picked up, up off of the street, yes? Yes. You remember that they also had the black liquid on them. Yes, it's quite fascinating. And stoppers you remember, the bottle. You remember that we threw them down into your basement. Yes, yes. Ah, well, we Are there take... any other constructs down In there? Base... Only my special one. A special one? Very special. What does it do? I don't know if I should tell you. You might tell someone else. Architect, grand yes. architect of the saviors of this city, if you have a powerful mech in your basement and it has just got infected by black liquid, do you think that me telling people about a danger to human life? I think that it's, it's not dangerous. It's an experiment. Remember, I told you, I told you, I'm trying to make a construct that can fly. An infected flying thing? It, it's it's a beautiful construct. It's beautiful. I think infected. I n f e c p e d. Infected. It's nervous. It's not even awake. I have okay. not yet given it its final impetus. And besides, I think it needs at least two more wings, which I don't have enough spare bones to construct. Out of curiosity, just. Just how many wings does this creature already have? <laughs> All right, then. Evenly spaced along the length of its body. I suspect, I theorize it might be capable of carrying, uh, oh, maybe two pterosaur bolts. If I get it perfect, which admittedly is a prototype, it's not at all clear but maybe it could carry me so easily. gentlemen are we sure that this one is no longer a threat oh well mostly sure we could take it back to my lab and i could flush it out and and refill it fully but look at the the structure of it we can't we can't lose the body of this construct it is too perfect it's far too perfect i think you and i have different definitions of perfect Mr. Tin Man, what say you? You're a... It's a threat to the city, whatever that black liquid is. It's a threat and as a member, right? as yeah. a member of the army, I will. I think it would be a good idea to investigate this further. But I am not the one to look it over. It's the architect's job. Yes, yes, and I will. Oh, yes, I have the samples. Samples. I can do great work with this, and um, I assure you, oh, my detective self hunt, I will figure out exactly what this is, what it does, and I guarantee you, I can find a way to use it to benefit the city, benefit all of us. Interesting. Nicola sighs and checks, checks the air taser to make sure that it is still charged and ready to go with a <laughs> with this. Terrifying thinking that maybe it might get fired at least once or twice more tonight. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> <sighs> and then he's going to uh, whistle and bring the drone down through the hatch and collect it back into his bag. Fiore is going to bundle the babies. Um, each individually in their own blanket and carry them all over to the mother with a knife. <laughs> yeah, she's like freaking freaking the fuck out. <laughs> uh, he's like slowly dragging the suit with his foot down the hallway. Um <laughs> trying his best. He like he might like look over at the techno sophist and the architect and be like, Could you could you grab my suit for me, please? <laughs> just a minute, just a minute. Uh, Don't trust, worry, trust, I got it. <laughs> trusting that I have cleaned out the corruption from this this mm -hmm. construct, uh, 
I'm going to fiddle with whatever I need to get it to fall for its injunctive to now be follow me. This and I'm going to, thing. and I'm going to wake it up. Wait, why am I carrying this? You have a this other guard construct that you reprogrammed as well that I'm. Oh I'm no! Sure. I have to give this one back. I'm not a thief. <sighs> Uh, I'm so I'm going to say to the mother. <laughs> I think. It's, um. Hello. Hi. Is everything okay? Or can we? What happened? Your was that your nursery bot? A nursery construct. We used to have one, but it it were it went out of commission. Well, it's, he, um, doesn't, he, like, kind of, like, takes out one, one hand and goes, like, and, like, it's kind of back in, like, um, bumping his fingers up and down, like, in quotations. Back in commission. It's no longer in commission. It's in commission. Gee, oh, God, I'm tired. So these are babies. <laughs> I don't know who these babies are, but we can watch over them. That would be fantastic. I am a technophant of Firenze's Royal Army. Please take these off of my hands. <laughs> yeah, they, they take the babies, but they all start crying as they kind of like reach out to... Oh, God. Um... <laughs> yeah, he... um. He uh goes over to his um he he thanks thanks Nicolo profusely and he um uh he takes out um God uh God I think like he probably has some knickknacks of his like that are within like the the case of the of the it's like good luck charms that I guess he has just within yeah. the Technophant armor. Like maybe like a medal or like a photo um and like like um oh goodness oh like a pressed and dried out flower um and he takes like each one and hands them to the babies and like says like it's a rough world but we're doing our best <sighs> um looking down at them and this how tall is the mother I make big, lanky weirdos. By the way, that's that's kind of always yeah, my character. Yeah, no, these, these people are normal size, so you you look like a, a big, freaky, lanky, tall person. <laughs> yeah, he like bends down, uh, in like a very large bow to all of them, and um, uh, like pats each of, the, each of the babies on the head, giving them like a small kiss, um, and like places each one of them a knickknack in their in their own specific bundle, and um goes back over to the technosophist and takes the armor from him and laboriously slings it over his shoulder <laughs> bows again to the family and says please get the babies to somebody who can take care of them of course thank you for your time <laughs> and as this kind of construct uh sparks to life uh I can't. I can't. Uh, it's kind of uh, eyeless eye sockets uh, blink uh, and look around its mouth kind of grinding and moving you see several little hands kind of uh, acting as a tongue to lick its lips um, right here right here yes yes hello look at you aren't you beautiful it kind of looks down at the architect um, <laughs> nearly like a meter or two over his head. Uh, well, come on, come on. Oh wait, no, I have to give them their their construct back. Uh. <laughs> yeah, the, you kind of go over to the construct, um, and the the arm of this uh, this nativity construct lurches forward and just kind of shoots down into the roof of this thing's head. Uh, no, 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 no. Like, uh, in half. 
falls down to the ground, uh, blood <laughs> oozing out of it, as well as like steam and oil. You just hear the most frustrated scream. <laughs> just... <laughs> well, it sounds like our uh, mutual friend is having some fun. Um, um you you're stupid a... construct! You are a nativity god! That is not a boss! Fiore um, cops the baby's like ears, <laughs> like, leaning down and, like, saying, Bambino, 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 Bambino. Please, Bambini. Oh, my God. I am taking your construct! I turn around I and I, and I, as I'm walking down the hall, I suit up <laughs> and I come into the room with the architect. You just see, like, the Sammy just, like, hammering on the back panel of the that broke up what he's determined is clearly a broken nativity bot just ripping over the back panel and like i am going to take have to carry this back to my lab i am going to decommission you for parts you are useless i you grab are both of your shoulders no. i grab both of your shoulders i pull no, you away i turn you around and i say the babies need their sleep now you are going to shut up. Okay. And it's kind and... of, uh, yeah, as, as, as you, you say this, there's a feminine voice coming, erupting from this thing, guttural as it is, um, and constructs don't talk. Um, as it, it looks to you all, uh, these kind of pulsating eye sockets, uh, not... Long, someone, earth, passing, thought, life, all life, sacred, and Pass. must therefore be protected. Yes, 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 yes! Those things don't usually talk, do they? No, this is amazing, this is... And this is the, is this this isn't the nativity. This is the technically dead. No, and this is the nativity. The nativity bot. Oh, Sammy runs around to in front of it and is like, "Oh, oh you, you don't. Uh, <laughs> You're <to> held." Man. <laughs> man, perhaps we should uh, make sure this thing is put back down. Reaches up, grabs the nativity bot by like the the face, and is like pulling on the the. You know, slack cheeks. Look at you, you, you spoke. This is a miracle. This is a marvel. I must know how. Where did this come from? Why are you oh. talking? Why are you speaking? What is? Where is this coming from? Where are the words coming from? And as you as you're doing this, it kind of you see that arms and and kind of movement in its throat as it opens its mouth ever wider, uh, and then just kind of turns itself inside out, the flesh peeling back. Uh, in kind of bubbling in in torn flesh and goo until it's just kind of split into pieces. You can see the the guts kind of spilling out of its mouth oh. hole to the ground. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm oh. not responsible for cleaning that up. Oh no! Construct oh, would be responsible miracle. for that. You spoke. It spoke. It spoke to us. Yes, it did. Spoke. Okay. Spoke. Sammy appears to just have gone into like vapor walk of just like <laughs> too oh like too happy, can't think, can't speak, just So while Sammy's over here kind of frozen up, Nicolo's gonna poke with his foot and see if there's anything it doesn't quite belong in here. Yeah. So looking at it it poking around on the, the flesh and everything. It definitely looks like some sort of infection along the spinal column uh, integrated into the the bone. Um, kind of it's where this black goo of some sort is, is coming from. Kind of oozing out onto the ground uh, and filling the cracks and, and such of this wooden floor. But it looks like to it has been collecting organs and parts uh, as organs failed and it continued to move on to grab more things um, throughout the whole process. Is this thing... 
rebuilding itself? Oh, that's fascinating. I'd have to... Making life. Fascinating. So fascinating. This is perfection. He tried to repurpose. Make... Do you think it could have repurposed a body? Oh. Itself a, a Given enough time itself. and materials, possibly. Oh, the, possi the potential. The possibilities. Oh. The only question here is how soon should I tell the Citadel? Before or after I've uncovered some of your secrets, my dear? My, my vote would be for immediately. There is great potential in that. Yes. I agree with you finally once tonight. If <sighs> there could be a construct that could actually create some form of new life. Yes. It could talk. Form its own words, ideas. There just, is a use for that. Just imagine the possibilities and the ways this could be implemented. We could finally free ourselves from the tyranny of the machine. <laughs> you do know that, like, a good amount of the technology in this world is, like, metal, right? Like, that's, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's not just blood magic. It, like you're not just, just sewing shit to get. Like there's, there's like mechanical things. In, okay, okay, buddy. This okay. could free us. Look at this. No one has built anything like this construct. No one. This is beyond. It has gone beyond. It is a new level. We can go further. You will see. You will see both of you. You can understand a fragment. You are a doubter tied to old heresies. You shall be enlightened, illuminated. Yes, yes. We shall show all of you, and I, I shall be its prophet. That escalated. <laughs> wow. Um, there, there may be some religious uh... devotion at the heart of Sammy's work. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Possiblemente. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> when I talk with with architects, they're just big fucking nerds. With semi. <laughs> <laughs> That's an entirely new level there. Semi's yeah. a big fucking nerd who got religion. <laughs> Zeal. Femi has zeal. Um, could have yeah, caught, that... the, the, caught the train before this one. Um, <sighs> Just had to get on that train. Fiore... Yeah, the train you needed to be on. Like, th th this feels like a deal with the devil, essentially. Like, oh my god. Um... <laughs> I guess Fiore will keep the suit on um, and he's going to take a breath. He's just going to take a breath. And rest for a little bit. Yeah, since we're... we're I think this would be a good time to catch breath. Um, so, I am going to wonder, Mr. Architect Friend... What do you believe may have caused that might have been the uh, the source of this um and he Nickel taps the spine with his foot the source of this um new life as you call it Oh well I believe it's something to do with well this and pulls out the little vial shakes it puts it back in the the pouch start thinking on more vials and collecting even more horrible black goopiness. Something um, something contained within this. We'll say, while I took a breath, I did pull out a king, a king of diamonds, um, and that is uh, specifically a thing with his, um, the Technofance thing, which is you bear the conspicuous scars of a death averted at the last second with makeshift treatments. Always available, they are revolting as well as painful in some moments. Um, I'm just going to put the king into the discard pile and say that um, as the uh, as the the helmet kind of lifts up so that his face is revealed, the skin of his face falls off. 
Um, <laughs> it's a little bit. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Yeah. yeah, it's oh. like beginning to sag off a little. Oh, what? When we? Oh, wait, no, I can fix that. Oh, is he threw it in it again? Needle and thread. <sighs> sit down. Sit down. Fucking cannibals. Sit. Sit. Fucking I cannibals. I fix. Okay. And I'm going to throw his face back on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this kind of grotesque thing. Uh, and it looks like the family is just going to get a hotel or something. Uh, whatever the fuck's happening here, they just don't feel like their home is safe. So many more. It's probably yeah. going to take a day or two to fix that giant hole in the wall anyway, so. Yeah. This is our crib now. All the gore and blood. Um, yeah, it's just a whole thing. <laughs> Architect, yeah. may I ask you a question? Always? You would want to... So this nativity bot it construct, it's never been seen before, yeah? Or this is a regular nativity bot that has been corrupted. And it has caused it to have free thought. Uh, I believe this has gone beyond a nativity bot. Uh machinist would that be correct but yeah it's like nativity bots look like a regular construct which the tan skin and like leathery mannequin look uh but with just like a apron um but you know with two hands and two legs that yeah. are not and... meant to be whatever the this is yeah like, yeah this is um this, this is, is something, something special new. yeah this is it's a unless it was like a really big baby i had to take care of then maybe no, but this is something this... new did this look like something that it did for itself? Or do you think someone of your order had something to do with its construction? If it had not spoken, I'd have said that no, no way could it have. But it spoke, it spoke to us. It was a miracle. So perhaps uh, would there be a, something I could check to be like, did, did this thing potentially make my kind irrelevant? Um, in what way do you think that that happened? Um, I guess what I'm trying to dis to figure out is if there's a way I can inspect it here. Uh, I know it's kind of fallen apart, so it would be easier to look at it in my lab. Yeah. Uh, but would a, a cursory here inspection? Uh, allow me to figure out if this thing made these modifications and these additional limbs itself, or if there's signs of like professional stitching an anchoring the body parts. All right, you can uh, give me uh, advanced medicine checks. Okay, uh, I need a spade. Uh, uh oh. Uh, okay. Uh, I have a king of spades and a seven of. Uh, and a seven. Okay, so... Alright. Um... So, uh, looking over it, um, it definitely did... It, it's very unrefined, um, and, uh, like, it just looks like it kept adding things to it, and then as organs would fail, it would add more and replace it. Not replace it, but just put more into it so it still has like rotting hearts and liver and lungs and such like that within its its body um which might also have caused the uh infection to to spread it certainly oh, this... didn't help. oh you guys know that thing of, from like the fresh prince of bel-air where like um no his, his heart's in the right place but he's just the he just he's a little confused uh-huh <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It, that the construct it, it has a it had its heart in the right place, but it was a little confused. Yeah, it, I don't know. Yeah. I, I'm not quite sure that heart or that heart are in the right place. <laughs> it did this to itself. Like some things are off. I can't tell what though. So, Zombie mm. seems to be going into like paroxysms of just um awe and joy. It did this to itself. It was modifying itself to 
pursue its directive. This is miraculous. This is beautiful. This is architect, the... architect, architect, yes. architect. Deep breath. Um, one breath. Um, and like I, I will I... say, that is beautiful. What were you gonna say? I will say, kind of a, a thought might form in your head. Like, was this programming or was this semblance of life? Which the answers to those questions could have extreme ramifications for this whole society. Yeah. Yes, I, and I imagine there's also, there's probably architects who argue that life is just programming. Uh, there's kind of the, you know, what is life but programming? What are we like we make life, so right. Sammy might be a little, a little <laughs> vague on the distinction there. Yeah. Um. So so yeah. Um. Fiore says, well, well, what it did was, is interesting. I no, will say that it ended, it ended human life to do it. Sounds Remember, yeah. Dangerous. Ended life to make its own. That is Which not is what it is good for. Mistake. It's a good Which starting a point. Mistake. Yes, we perfect it. We perfect it. And we set it loose. Uh, 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 set it loose. Outside the city. To help you against the cannibals, perhaps. Just think. Just think. Hold I'd like to, to think that um that um uh, semi is is we're having this conversation while he's sewing the face back on. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> and um life is sacred though, Semi. We can't just send out a, a fucking war machine to go murder some cannibals just to see if it'll make new life. Life is You sacred. have to kill them civilly. <laughs> With, with these, and he robots. shoots out a, <laughs> with <laughs> robots and mech suits. <laughs> but just imagine a war freed from technology. Let the construct fight. Let flesh pursue flesh. You, my friend, my wonderful, beautiful friend, and t t tying off the last of the, the thread... You are a marvel, but you are reliant upon machines. And that limits you. That limits you most terribly. Imagine, imagine what could happen if I could set you free. If I could unchain you with this. Um, when Fiore's face is fully sewed back um, to, like, the good... <laughs> amount of sewed back like I, I assume semi did like an incredible job um yeah. he does have like a very nice looking face like it like it's it's like he's very very pretty once um it's no longer sagging in all the wrong places once it's no longer sagging yeah um but like there is like that outline of his face with like the stitching on it which, which looks kind of fucking metal. Um, <laughs> he, yeah, like like he stands back up. I, I assume, like, I'll just guess he was kneeling. He stands back up, um, takes the helmet off, um, looks down at Semi and says, "Our compromises to this. For now, we need to make sure that other people aren't dying, or I need to at least." Yes, yes. But let's get this back to your workshop. I assume. We yes, tell the I citadel. A special construct. And we tell the citadel. Oh, very well, very well. Thank but you. you. You must tell them I have it, and they can't take it from me. I, it's mine. It's my that subject. That is between. That is between you and your order, my friend. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I, I feel like uh, Semi knows that when the Citadel figures it out, they are going to kick in the door to take that <laughs> shit. Semi <Yeah. laughs> is probably not going to be sleeping for a while as he's just <laughs> desperately racing to be like, no, must must hide this sample, must hide that sample, must hide this other sample. No, they can't take it. They can't take it all. It's fine. I found it. There's like a very like scrounger spirit, so there's probably like twenty different hiding places in in, in Sammy's house. 
Um, Fiore um, will also say to Nicola, the, the techno sophist, like, um, that Semi doesn't fully hear. Um, yeah, I do appreciate your order for making me this suit. I, I don't want you to think that, that <laughs> like getting this suit was literally the best thing that happened in, in my life. So, <laughs> flesh is flesh, but it's all for the continuance, and like he makes eyes at Semi. Yeah, flesh Human is flesh, but sometimes life. a little bit of steel can make that flesh a bit stronger. Don't I know it. Um, and, uh... Stop that dependency. <laughs> Damn! All right. <laughs> shit! All right. Um. Shit! All right. Fuck. Um. Well, he like he helps the, the ongoing like, there it Shit! Is. <laughs> Golly, he um uh he goes and uh he goes and helps Semi gather up the construct and kind of wheel it back to his place. Yeah, Nicola will at least reluctantly assist with transporting some of it. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's just like trying to hold like male blubber is, in your hand. It's, is ooh. is that a spleen? Yep. <sighs> you see like Vestigial several organs in the flesh uh, kind of woven into oh. it. Um, as you guys are heading out with kind of these new finds and such, um, we look back at that room um, and kind of wiggling out of the back end of it, you, you see like two arms um, and then a, we never looked a, in the crawl space. A, a naked woman kind of erupts a construct of sort, but it looks human. Um, with kind of this white dead hair uh, as it crawls back towards the crawl space and moves the bookshelf back to its position. Fuck! Fuck! Well, I'm, that's where uh, we'll end it. Fuck. I'm moving out of Florence. Damn! So, uh, if anybody... <laughs> Because Anybody wants to shack gun. up with the cannibals with me? <laughs> um, <laughs> damn, bro. What the fuck? Back. That was crazy. I'm moving back to the Great Dump. Um, have fun with your uh, new type of things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, nope. I'm going to find as much scrap as I can and just build myself a nice little fortress island. Have fun. <laughs> It's an um, island of baby diapers. I'm I'm going to turn into the the villain of like recurring villain in multiple people's campaigns of the yeah. mad the mad architect. Mm -hmm. uh, I I was halfway through and I'm like, wait. I feel like it would be too good if it was revealed that Sammy made the like nightmare construct. And I was like, <laughs> that's why he's so determined no one can break it. It's like, no, don't break my test, baby. It's like got like a little brand on the back, like made by. <laughs> no, baby. I have to hide that. Yeah. Can't let them see. <laughs> that's what so you're that's really what. Yeah. Yeah. I'm also realizing there. that it's like it's it's 100 percent like in character for Sami to go too far and make something nightmarish because yeah. he's trying to make something better and go further than any other architect is willing to go. <laughs> you're daft punking it stronger, better, faster. <laughs> the Holy Spirit. Has, <laughs> the Holy flesh. Oh. Y'all know the music video for Technologic by Daft Punk? Uh, I think so. I'm getting Technologic vibes from that. Except, you know, a little backwards. <laughs> that's not, that's not yeah. technology, well, that is. Well, if you, if you look terror. at the music video, that shit is fucking nuts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This really yeah you, you, you seen it? This was awesome. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. Holy shit. Yeah. I'm glad. Yeah, that's uh, that's necrobiotic, and I, I always like to leave on a little teaser. So that's uh, that's quite the cliffhanger to leave on there. <laughs> yeah, holy it's a shame shit! It's a one shot. Yeah, it's a shame it's a one shot. Yeah, it's just got to continue it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. When the Kickstarter comes out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, speaking of, speaking of, when is that Kickstarter coming out? Yeah, so the Kickstarter is coming out May 12th. Uh, that is the launch date. It's also my vaccine date. Uh, but it is more importantly the launch date. 
uh, which is going to be super awesome. I think pretty much once you wake up, you'll be able to uh, go ahead and pledge. And we actually have two books. One is the core rule book, and then the other will be a supplement that kind of goes into more adventures as well as a little bit more chatting about the setting. Uh, we're also doing like custom card decks uh, for them, uh, more art as Ooh. well as additional adventures by a plethora of art or writers, uh, including Drake uh, and um, Matthew Dawkins, who wrote a lot of the kind of Chronicles of Darkness Ooh. stuff. Um, okay. So, who did of... the art? Oh, the art is done by Haley Lee. She is mm -hmm. uh, in China, uh, an amazing artist. Uh, I think her Twitter is like Honey Oink. Uh, if you follow uh, my Twitter, you can I, I tag her when I can. Uh, but yeah, just an amazing uh, artist who who really captures. She's also an animator too, so you can see some of her work online. Um, gorgeous stuff, gorgeous. I, I yeah, just love it. just the pieces I've seen have been like really setting the theme Ooh. and mood for the whole uh, setting. Yeah, I can't wait. Like, I'm hoping we'll have stretch goals for additional art, and I'm just like, let this just all be art because I want to see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, such an evocative setting. Um, yeah. Like I think, I think Ryan and I like for a moment like last night, um, were like, "Holy shit! This this lore is getting me really excited <laughs> for the first session." Oh uh, yeah, and like there's so much, uh, yeah. because the, the books are done, uh, so we actually know how it all ends, uh, and, and mm. such. Uh, so figuring out like as things change so my hope is if this kickstarter does very well is next year have another kickstarter where you'll be able to kind of go forward a little bit as well as additional character options and stuff like that so we have like a uh... whole a whole thing planned for like the next five years for for content and stuff that as the city grows and, and such so it's going to be really cool I mean, I'm gonna push cool. this shit hard for you, yeah. dude. If you like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, we even so, uh, our our one secret is uh, we are working on a construct templates that you can ooh, slap onto ooh. your character if you die, um, so that you like can that. kind of come back. Of course, you'll be hunted down, so don't no, let anyone Sammy, know. Sammy, no. <laughs> Sammy, no. Yeah, Damn yeah, boy. make the pouty face, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> um, Even in death, how can, Sammy, sir. How can we best support um, this project going forward? Um, yeah, definitely right. spread the word, retweet. Um, I can't think we're, we're coming up on 400 uh, pre-launch emails, um, but, you know, the, the more people back and the more people grab the game and start playing it, the, the better it becomes in, in total. So um, it's going to be awesome. And we're also giving away for the first couple of backers a free... Uh, the free version of the original Italian book for for PDF, Ooh. so you can even if you don't speak Italian, you can still look through the art and stuff like that, and kind of get a gist of of some of the other stuff on there. We're just giving it away for that for free, like that's it. <laughs> sure, sure, that's awesome. Hell, yeah. I might, I might. Um, I've been thinking of relearning Italian on stream, so oh. I might use that as some yeah, that's as a, some some yeah, good motivation there. Yeah, it'd be yeah. perfect. You'll have like the English and the Italian. It'll, it'll be it'll be great. Yeah, you got it all yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> and... That's where you'll be pointing out the discrepancies in the translation before too long. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Get thing the cut so far. We got to translate some weird uh, words and such. Cause... Yeah, even just like the class names or or the um, archetype names. <laughs> yeah, archetype names and just the way they like death and is explained in Italian and such is just, just very different from like English and uh some things we switched, some things we just kept in Italian. It's just like this is just a proper now. Deal with it. Enjoy yeah. it. You know? Yeah. That's a good way to do it. If it's a yeah. little bit too difficult to to explain in English, you know, just like no. It's a yeah. thing. Yeah, it's just, it's just look it up. <laughs> look it up. Yeah, and I, I do like the uh, and definitely owe to uh, big text for uh, Frenze. Uh, I think that's the first time someone actually <laughs> spoke of Florence and its true name. Uh, so it's an extreme. <laughs> that's awesome. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> I, uh, I, yeah, yeah I, I try and 
I mean, with <laughs> with with, uh, with a lot of Italian stuff, I try and I try and pull my weight as best I can. Yeah, you know, uh, <laughs> gotta get in, gotta get in the fam- the fam- the family stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> also, I should feel you you should uh, on your little image you have put like a baby just holding onto your shoulder. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yo, that was such a good like. <laughs> Shit, that got me into it. Like, like just the fact yeah. that the babies like felt more comfortable in this like mecha monstrosity ninja <laughs> yeah. dude, like than like a regular person. Like, oh, that touched my heart, dude. That was oh, and they they were like they were like suckling on the on the weird mechano bits. Aww. Yeah, yeah. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was microbiotic. I hope everyone had fun. Yeah, it was oh, yeah. that was great. Was a lot of fun. Like. Aside from just actually being able to play for a chance, that was a great game to actually play. Yeah, it was a great game. It was great to get to play a different kind of character. Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't get to play characters like Sammy very often. Um, so to play that kind of, <laughs> yeah, I the gif of that the person, the scientist from Alien Resurrection, because I feel like that was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shit, yeah, I know. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, this is, I think this was my first time ever playing like a a um a narrative, a more narrative based system. Yeah. Uh, and that was really fun. Yeah, I, I really like it and just the fact that like yeah, you can just be cool and, and weird and interesting and, and there's just so much to do. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I checked a couple of those boxes. Weird and interesting. I'm not sure I managed to check off cool. Certain definite. Oh, yeah. I mean, Semi thinks he's cool. <laughs> yeah, and that's really all that matters. Yeah. yeah. Semi also remember, thinks his contracts think he's cool, but, you know. Remember, yeah. chat, self confidence is <laughs> the, the road to it's, success. Yeah, it's everything. <laughs> it, it really is everything. <laughs> yeah. so this uh, that's been fun uh do you have anything else you want to cover before we finish up here uh no that's it just check out the kickstarter check out check me out on penny for a tail uh and uh continue uh checking out five foot square stuff yeah speaking of we have uh next week we're back to lancer uh yeah. with my two um friends over here uh yeah. we'll be there we continue with the <laughs> our second group episode um in two weeks time we actually have uh the session zero for D a D and yeah. d game on the i think that's may 2nd at 2 p.m i think it's what i have okay. i don't think i shared the full cast for that yet and i think i'm gonna wait uh until we're done with lancer the next week and like push one thing at a time because you know you know how it gets yeah you can't you can't overclock yeah well um (laughs) um, so that's been our show for this evening it's been great very very many thanks to mitchell from benny for a tale actually you're actually up here on my on my screen for coming in and running this for us it was a great game and as you said kickstarter is on may 12th so I will be sure to actually tweet out that information to get to the Kickstarter or retweet because I'm sure you have somewhere one or two it's tweets somewhere about that. Yeah. yeah. Um, thank you to everybody who followed this evening, everybody who stopped in. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you also to uh, Zev and Tex for um, playing this evening as well. I hope you guys had fun. All right, so oh, may I plug for a quick moment? Actually? Yes, you may. Actually, may I think plug. don't you have Seek Money this week as well? I do have Seek Money this week. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, a um, couple things yeah, so to got, plug. Yeah, a couple. One, things. a couple things. One thing, a couple things. Um, myself, I have finally been started. You know, being on Twitch. Um, you can follow me at Big Tech CCMO on Twitch. I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy fourteen. Um, Ooh. that's been a lot of fun. Oh, it's so much fun. I've been playing. Um, I just leveled up to 35 in Monk and Warrior, and I'm just going to be playing that for a while, just um, uh, feeling out my schedule. Yeah, I um, really want to play the Sage, the new class. Oh, yes. Oh, it looks so cool, doesn't it? 
I know, right? I want it. I want it. <laughs> you have so many tiny little fucking turrets. Oh, it looks so cool. Pew pew. Um, pew pew. Um, and um, Seek Money, right? Seek Money is a campaign that I'm a part of. Um, which it's like a high school D and D campaign. Uh, we're just getting to this a very magical, very um magical high school where everybody's a spellcaster a spellcaster type it's dnd 5e um we're doing some homebrewed rules in it i play an arcane trickster in it uh put a lot of energy into it as well as like my fellow cast members um session 11 is going to be a doozy um it's going to be a lot of lot of fun uh the only thing that i will give to you right now for that um is um uh words which is uh dungeons and dynasty warriors so you can <laughs> check that out <laughs> At um uh, twitch.tv slash neo soul god. Uh Neo is um my DM for that game. Uh, and a very good. Let me so. actually I'm going to Please. um okay, make sure well not just uh that, but also uh Penny for Tail and then Oh yeah, let me follow Penny for Tail. Yeah, your yours and we have uh neo's channel for seek money which i may or may not be around to watch this week i'm not sure i usually catch it on the either the replay um watching it back YouTube on twitch or youtube yeah, yeah. oh um so for follow all those with, great people um, <laughs> yeah, yeah for anything with me it's big Texasimo. for anything with neo it's always neo so god all this stuff please uh give us a follow uh whatever you know fuck it we had a great time this is awesome necrobiotic fuck yeah kickstarter's out on may 2nd let's rock baby we have <laughs> all right everybody have a great evening and we will see you next week back with let the world burn away ciao good night all good night all right guys <laughs>